Welcome back, everyone. Going to the second half here at Drop Frames 115. Uh, let's talk Path of Exile for about 10 minutes because we spent about an hour and a half. We spent an entirety of a show on it last week. Uh, I am at, let's see how many hours I've logged. Did I break 100? 101 hours played in under a week <laughs> Path of Exile. Oh, my God. The addiction is help. real. And I think, I'm, I, th mm, I just, think I'm done. I saw your tweet. <laughs> I think I'm done. You think? <laughs> yeah. So I, get back in there. I don't know if I. I woke up and I was like, "Man, I need a ooh Path of Exile." Still kind of fun, but I don't know if I'm like done. Done. Um, I've hit the point of the game. I re-rolled since last week. Uh, I did a character through the story in like nine hours or something, um, and I've hit the point in the game where it's in game and you're hitting like tier 12, 13, 14, 15 maps, which is the the highest tier maps. And the upgrades are so incremental that it's going to take like so much effort and time and everything to actually get an upgrade that I'm not sure I want to sit there and just look at yeah. small numbers and like crunch things in a calculator to get an upgrade. Doesn't like, matter. Is it worth the time anymore? Yeah. Like the, the fun part of that game for me was killing things really fucking fast, getting through things really fucking fast and not the number crunching. I like to see the numbers go up, but I don't want to have to sit there and crunch for them. And that's kind of where I'm at. So I either have to make a new character or just try to push forward and do that. Cause it's the other thing that's also happening is I've streamed the game long enough that where like the elitist and someone pointed this out last night after I'd stopped streaming that like the elitist have started being vocal in the chat so anything that i do they tell me like quote the best thing to do which is perfectly yeah. fine but in order to do quote the best thing i'll do i'll buy whatever item is going to be the best and then it completely fucks everything else up that i'm doing and they're not even factoring that in so i just waste like an hour or two trying to do this thing get this thing realize it was a complete waste of time and effort and currency in the game that it was just not worth anyone's time to do um and so i don't know i I might just be close to burning out because 100 hours in, a, in like a week is a lot of time. It's like, that's, yeah, that's I think it's, uh, that's I think I did the math. It's like 30% of my time lived in the past week has been Path of Exile or something like that, which is kind of bad. It's kind of rough. Um, it's still a great game. I still enjoy it. It's still super fun. And um, the, the community in terms of like the streaming community is super tight knit. They... Even the, the bigger streamers in the game, the ones that average uh, like four to five K host someone no matter what when they end their stream, which is kind of That's unheard cool. of uh, in a lot of other communities on Twitch where people just end their stream and not host anyone. Um, so that's pretty cool to see and, and be a part of. Um, I still think it's going pretty strong. Dan plays it a shit ton. I think Ko's playing right now, which means that EverQuest must be down or something. I'm not sure why. I don't know what's going on there. We'll have to get that story next week. Um, but yeah, Dan and, and Co are still raging on in it. Uh, I think like lyrics kind of belled off the the bandwagon, and Shorty's yeah, still kind of teetering around. Coming. Yeah, uh, but it's it's great game. I don't I, I still have fun with it. I don't know if I'm going to continue to have fun with it. I haven't decided yet. But if you like Diablo and you want a better Diablo, go play Path of Exile. It's free. I'll buy everyone a copy right now. It's, it's completely free. free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So you know, it's a shorty when he was grinding for the chaos gear. Yeah. The the only thing that's uh that's not free obviously is the my the, the cosmetic stuff in game. If you want to make your character like sparkle or change some effects or get some cool looking armor, you can buy all that stuff. But That's cool. You don't have to. Uh <clears throat> what else? Zig, you played a bunch of shit this past week as you tend to do. Sometimes actual shit, but also just other games. What <laughs> What have you been up to? What have you been playing? Muted. He'll get it eventually. Motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. We Where do we start? Not it along. No, I had it. I had, <laughs> I had it muted because I actually I, I fixed my audio problem. Mm, mm. Um, no, this week has actually been really good for uh, random video games that I never played before. Can Can I just choose where we start, Zeke? Can I just interrupt and choose? I guess. My can we start like about? That. Can we start with Observer? Because I'm really interested to hear about this game. Totally. Absolutely. Okay. Talk to me about Observer. Observer, I got it, I got it a bit early, and it's a uh, cy cyberpunk adventure where you play a an observer, a cop, basically, and you're 
doing a lot of just regular detective work. You're knocking on doors. You're asking people, like, what you saw, what you heard, and that kind of thing. And then it gets fucking trippy, like Matrix meets Acid kind of a feel to it, where you jack in to either living or dead people, and you see, like, you're in their heads. So uh, I come upon this guy. He had been he had been hurt, it's like injured, and he was almost dying. And in order to figure out what happened, I jacked I like jacked into him. Like I have this like little thing, and I just plugged right into him. And then you travel around in his like fucked you up memory. Him? No, no, no. You're in his like mind. Oh, so you oh. hear like his thoughts and stuff, or what? No, you uh, you run th- like you're uh, um well like you're an observer in his memory in his dream. Um, and things can attack you. Things can pop up, pop up out of nowhere. It's the first one I went to took. I thought I thought it was just going to be like dream sequence. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It took a while. It took like 25, 30 minutes. Wow, really? Of being inside this dude's head with all this trippy wow. shit going on. They really went in depth. Hmm. And they Yo. they have like maze maze portions where. You walk down this hall and it keeps looking the same, and then you turn around and it changes, and like that's that's the point of the thing. Uh, how much is this game going to be? Full sixty bucks. Uh, this game is right now twenty nine ninety nine, thirty bucks. How much play time? Uh, I had I think f- I want to say five hours, six hours. And it gets the thumbs up. Oh, how, how, oh, how much to complete it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I want to say people have done it. Between seven and nine hours, huh? I'm this. I mean, uh, I'm. And, and but you, I take forever. I look at everything. I talk to everybody. Right. Like that and you liked shit, it so. though. This is like a. This is a yes from you. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm going to finish it tomorrow. I didn't. Okay. I didn't actually. Oh, finish nice. it, but yeah. I'm going to be out? going back to the server tomorrow to finish it. Uh, yeah, it's out. It's out now. Yep. All right. Hell yeah. Maybe I'm gonna fucking play this game. Looks really good. Um, it is. It's and uh, the lead voice, my boy Rutger Hauer, man, Blade Runner, oh, son. That's kind of cool. Yeah, he's yeah. They they got Rutger Hauer, like a legend of you know the screen, and he's he's like this old cop, and he has this, you know, that kind of a voice where he's like, so what did you see, Max Payne? And the, and he's also very uh, like sarcastic. <laughs> he's been doing this a while. He's been on the force or whatever they call it. Uh, for a long time, so he's got this grizzled like sarcasm. It's really it. cool. I like the look um, of and it. And then you have these. Yeah, you I was have gonna this, say. Uh, you're you you have to take drugs to like see the see the lines that are forming around like in my vision. Yeah. You take drugs and it calms that calms that shit down. Oh. So oh, basically, okay. what you because everybody in the in this age uh, time and age except for like a certain religious cult have. Uh, um, Bionic implants of one form or another. Legs, eyes, brain, implants, you know, that kind of shit. Right. Uh, there's purists out there who don't have any. They, like, you know, swore it off for, you know, religious reasons or whatever. But uh, you have them too. And in order to keep your, because that's, I think, I haven't gotten to the end game yet, but I think due to these bio, uh, bionic implants, you have to take these drugs to unscramble your brain. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Seems like and a cool theme. These, you have these, uh, your eyes are, they have implants in your eyes, so you can see in infrared, you can see in, like, like computer electrovision, like, you can see uh, uh, anything that has, like, an electric current or stuff like that, and you scan all this kind of stuff. You also have a, uh, you have heat vision, night vision, and the, you know, computer vision. <laughs> computer vision. That's what the computer cool. vision is looking through right now. Oh, okay, the matrix vision. Yeah. Matrix, yeah, Matrix Vision, but uh, uh, it's cool. Uh, it's, I will say it. The for the six hours I played, it gets a little claustrophobic because there's it's in a a lot of it's in an apartment building. Yeah. So you're up and down into little rooms and stuff. I mean, the dream or the uh, the when you jack in, that's pretty cool. Like this is me. I'm jacked into somebody right now. Yeah. And I'm seeing I want to jack into people. Of their head. Yeah. But basically, you're, uh, the gist of it is you're a detective trying to figure out what, uh, how, who committed these crimes. That's the screen effect is kind of. I don't know if I could look at that for a long amount of time. Yes, yeah, a little bit. It is, 
it is definitely like one of the first things out of the gate. If you have epilepsy, don't do this because do not. Yeah. It is totally seizure inducing. <laughs> for sure. Is it, uh, Chad was saying it's, it's not too spooky. It's not too scary. Well, how do you feel no, about it's that? No, it's not really scary. It's, it's more like, it's like a trip. Yeah. You know, okay. if you get that, get that drug, like if you've ever done psychedelic drugs, which I never, ever have. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit like, <laughs> that. you know, it's, you, you get this like paranoid ish feeling, but you're not really terrified. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Someone in chat was well, saying they beat it in five hours. So Zeke time might be like seven or eight. Normal person time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. At least time and a half for me, if not double. Yeah. Okay. Because I, you know, I, if it's a, if it's a game that the developers put a lot of time into the visuals, I'll stop and like, I'll, I'll look at like a, a computer chip and like, oh man, look at that. If look I, at that yeah. fucking computer chip. Cool. Yeah. That's very sweet. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Not spooky, what but just kind of cool looking. Yeah, you're I'm seeing. About it. You are inside his memories, Pierogi. watching like little outlines of him. It's it's like trying to. Rem I I uh, compared it to trying to see someone's face in a dream when your dream doesn't want you to. Okay, right, because you're not you're, supposed to be able to see dreams like that where you where you're trying to look at somebody's face. But it's not. There's like it's nothing there. Well, I thought that I mean, it's was not a like flat, but it's like you can't make out features. I thought that was a thing about dreaming. You can't actually see faces in your dreams. Is that a? Is it? I don't know. I, I thought that was a real thing. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Chat. Chat knows all, so they'll let us know here pretty soon. There's Thanks, probably chat. a neurologist in the chat. <laughs> but I will say, like, for the for the experience, the sound design is is really good as well. Um. A lot of beats, see your own face. you know, cyber shit. I can't see my own face ever, man. So <laughs> I don't know if that's just in dreams. <laughs> but does it justify the? Th I mean, you can see why they have to charge thirty bucks for this. Because the graphic yeah. fidelity. Whoa. Yeah. So it's not like it a normal takes, thing too. Like if it you takes get the thirty bucks person. for single player, and then like it's a sixty if you have both. Yeah, I don't know. I I was I was I mean. That that seemed fine to me, but I'm the rich streamer, so you know, I guess my it's price expense. points. Are, yeah, they're expensive. Like yeah, yeah, but if you're going, if you're going by the 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 money per hour adage, and you run through games in an average amount of time, it's five bucks an hour. Hell yeah! So if, the, if that's worth it, if it's a quality yeah, experience, than arcade. yeah, yeah. Then well, I would say yes, definitely. You convinced me to buy it, so and I never play Boom. single player games. Get influenced, Jericho. That's my. Just be prepared. There's it. It's this is my aesthetic, a though. A lot of shit to take in. Okay. I'm fine with it. This is Whoa. my aesthetic. I'm gonna fucking. I like doing the same thing you do, where I just like to. I'm trying not to watch right now, so I don't yeah. ruin anything. <laughs> which is. Well, we, we can change topics. I, I don't like the crawl space stuff. That, that would freak me the fuck out. Okay. I'm just. I'm. I actually might watch a playthrough of this because it does look really fucking cool. Oh, and I will say the guys. Uh, I think it's Bloober team that does it. Oh God, I'm, I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to say the wrong team. Wait, this is Bloober. part of the game. Yeah, Bloober team. Okay, this is. These are just a little like little mini game thing on the side. Okay. I haven't discovered if there's any meaning to it, but you find these old old PC or yeah old old PC units, and it's oh, like a, 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 a Lolo. Do you remember Lolo for the NES? No. no. What What is that? It's just. It's like it's just a traveling block puzzle game. Oh. Where you can only go certain directions, you're, and you can't like get killed by the spiders and whatnot. Huh. But um, yeah, if you ever played Lolo, it's like that. All right, that's cool. Seems yeah. like another good like. Uh, would you call that indie? That's an indie game, right? Z, third is is it indie? Um. Yes. Okay. Uh, Bloober Team is actually responsible for quite a few games. Amen. Brawl. Layers. No. Layers of Fear. That's their Layers of Fear. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's mid indie. It's like double A or double I. <laughs> triple I's though. Oh, okay. I see yeah. what you're saying. I got you. Yeah. Um. What? Oh God! It's another F and game. Talk to me about tender loving care briefly. <laughs> Dude, this game was fucking hilarious. I had so much fun with this game. When did this, this come game, out? This looks like a. This game. Go ahead. 1998. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure. 1998. Yes, 1998. <laughs> Tender is Loving Care is a point-and-click FMV game that anyone can play. Jesus Christ. 
Uh, you, the basic premise is you are watching. You are not in the game. You are just watching the story unfold. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, you search for, you search for uh, um, little like story elements. Like you look at the computer and you see, oh, this is the main, the main male characters, the husband's uh, journal that he's, you know, typing out and stuff like that. And John Hurt is in it. Yeah. How do you play this shit? John mother- <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I saw you're playing. You're trying to play Night Trap, too, right? And yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. Night, uh, yeah. I'll talk about Night Trap. Yeah, for but, sure. Uh, yeah, I used to play all this stuff, like Sega CD era, like, It is so much fun. And the a lot of the fun part, this. I have bowel problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, in between, in between uh, chapters, psychological questions. And some of them are just as... As, as innocuous as, like, I like ice cream, true or false. Or, I have thought about murder sometimes. Like, yeah, really? It, they, all over the spectrum, and it's fucking awesome to, to go with your chat, and, like, this it, it's such a good game with the chat, because it brings up, like, topics of conversation, oh, okay. uh, like, inner psyche stuff. You try to, especially if you try to answer it honestly. Right. And there's a lot of, like, superlative questions, like, I always do this. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, and then, yeah, Catherine is a tease. Like, that's someone in the in the game. And that's, it's, it's fucking deep. Like, you can get in deep water, like, going, like, is it my maleness that makes me think she's a tease? Or is she actually a tease? <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. You, you, like, puzzle these things out with your, with your chat. And it's a, it's really a lot of fun. So were you, um, were you doing crowd polls, or were you going with your choices? What were you going with? No, I, I, I answered honestly, as honest as I could. Huh. And okay. uh, had discussions based on that, and I, and I, I reasoned out why. Because a lot of times, they'll give you, like, five options, and none of them fit. So you have to go with what's most correct. Mm. What do you think is most true to you? So mm. it's like, sex is A, awful, bad, or terrible. Like, oh, uh... Well, that's, I mean, obvious, that's not, this is that's, obviously but true. But that's not one of the questions. I'm just saying, like, you have to go with the one that's like, hmm. Why would you not answer that you want to uh, control another person with the power of your mind? That's obviously true. No one yeah, would answer true. false to that. Who answers false to that question? A Does that liar? You a controlling person. I don't care if it makes me a control. Yeah, literally a controlling yeah, person. But it's yeah. a fucking superpower. I, if you Listen, have the option. I'm a control no, no, Bill short Gates. Answer, and... Short answer to that. The short answer to that is. Um, I can't even control my own mind, let alone somebody else's. I feel yeah. bad no. if I fuck them. No, no, no. Short answer is, do you want a superpower or do you not want a superpower? Yes, you want a superpower. <laughs> yeah. You can look at it that way. That says something <laughs> about you, doesn't it, JP? I guess. That's, you have that's psychological you loser, questions like this. Oh, shit. Okay. Boring. What kind of more things do you see if you're controlling their mind? Well, I'm... I'm I need to see the chat to see what everyone else. Everyone in the I chat probably through these really. questions with you sometime, JP. I just want to see. <laughs> yeah. You're just gonna bring yeah. note That's cards. That's so much fun because people are like, really? They look at the you know put in chat like I would have thought you would think you know something like the opposite end of the spectrum. I could see you wearing like a smoking jacket and sitting there bringing up note cards and just asking me with like the glasses at the rid- the edge Shit. of your nose. Just been like, yeah. do you want superpowers, Mister McDaniel? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll say something like, oh, that's interesting. And you'll just you jot like hmm. nothing down. <laughs> Go to the next question. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's, I, I would love to share that game with someone who's not a gamer because it doesn't take any skill. Yeah. You just kind of sit there and answer questions. Answers, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. I would most like to have a dream where I am flying. Having sex with a beautiful stranger, swimming like a fish, wandering it's through a mysterious deserted it. city, killing somebody that I hate, or eating delicious food. I'm having sex, because that's sex. the only time I can have it. In Most day. of my chat said flying. I'd probably go with flying, yeah. That's another superpower thing, you know? <laughs> I go, well, I, I just, like, I, whenever I fly in dreams or fall or whatever, it's just, it's just super scary. Yeah. I don't want that. Wake up straight But whenever I have sex, one. it's great. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a bad sex dream. What is this? <laughs> yeah, all the sex you can have. Uh, this, you these are just fly. snippets. They're they're <laughs> supposed to like mess with you. This this that snippet's is actually uh, taken from a movie called uh, "The Brain That Wouldn't Die." It's a real movie. And I knew that. Be- yeah, I knew that because it was in Mr. Sincere. Hmm. 
Okay. The MST3, the MST3K did this movie. I was like, oh, I know this one. But there's little, like, little, on the television every day, there's little weird snippets from different movies or series or news or shit like that that I have no idea, like, their relevance. Oh, here's the intro. I just like the FMV because it looks so bad, but also so good at it's the same terrible. time. Terrible. Oh, and the voices. Oh my God, the voices are so bad too. Yeah, like not not the not the acting or not the not the actual voices, but most of the time when you're doing it, when you're playing FMV games, the microphone is like. <laughs> you can hear the do, static because their noise gates are fucking terrible. Do you get these from Steam from good old games? Like, where do you find the majority of these FMV games? I I crowdsource. Okay. I asked, like, hey, I, I, you, you guys know what I like, blah, blah, blah. And I just made a list, and I go through them from time to time. I look at them and see if they're my kind of game. And this was my kind of game. I'm glad I did it. Yeah. I'm just uh, amused that these run on Windows 10 natively. Like, you can just hit a play button, and it just starts up. Like, that's that's crazy to me. Because these are probably, yep. like, fucking Windows 3.1 games and shit. <laughs> like, super old school. Oh yeah, yeah. Windows. Well, this came out. This came out in 1998. So Windows 98. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably true. Probably true. Uh, all right. From one FM game to possibly another, or are we going to Indie Sunday? Let's go. I don't know. Let's do. Let's do Indie Sunday. Okay. Did you? Oh uh, well, no. Let's do it's a trap. Then we'll do Indie Sunday because it's the same thing. Another FMV game, I assume. What? It's a trap. Night oh, trap. Night trap. Yeah. Or Night Trap, yeah. Sorry, your stream Night, title yeah, is Night Trap. Night Trap is an older... This is... People have heard of this game. This game was on, I, I think, 3D, the 3DO. Mm -hmm. No, this was on. This was also on Sega CD, dude. Sega like, CD, there you go. And yeah. LaserDisc. Yeah. Dude, those are pretty good-looking videos. They're not trash-looking. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're well. not too shabby. But, uh, yeah, basically this game is... You are, in, you are in control of all the cameras in this house. You are part of... And I'm not kidding you. I shit you not. You are part of a team that's acronym is SCAT. <laughs> you are the SCAT, the SCAT team. How did they I know? can't remember what it stands for. Uh, I'll tell you what it scan stands for. Not scans yeah, for. Yeah, right? Yeah. But uh, you're, you're trying to prevent these guys from attacking the people inside the house. Is, okay. is the gist of it. There's, there's some backstory, but you don't need that. It's whatever. Man, they but went crazy with the fog machine stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And you it's basically you switch you switch through these eight rooms in the house, and then if you find these little <laughs> vampire black ninja guys, you spring a trap on. There you go. Poop. See, is if that green thing turns red, you just poop hit a button and they fall in a trap. And you got to try and catch all of them. See, it says possible twenty one captured fifteen. So I missed six opportunities. Oh. Wow. They changed it a little bit, though, because you didn't actually see a preview of what was going on in those other rooms. In the past, it was just like the room name. Exactly. And they, they said that uh, back in my day when I played it the first time, yeah. like the, the rooms were just still still images and yeah. you have to click through them. Maybe Thankfully, quick. Yeah. Changed. Yeah. But uh, well, yeah, it's it's a lot of a lot of very, very 90s outfits and conversations. And I can, there's a music they, they lip sync these uh, all these uh, party girls like lip sync in the kitchen. And she grabs a rack and starts playing it like a guitar. So, oh, it's so cheesy. Off, just it's so cheesy, cheesy. Bad. Um, but I will say this the game is broken right now. At least when I played it. Can't get working. Got up to a certain point and it bugged out and would not continue. Uh, yeah, that so sucks. There was a game breaking bug like day one, which is not good. But oh, man. this game it's was still it, fun, though. It was fun. Yeah, it's it's a fun game. A lot of, I mean, it's cringe cheese stuff. It's I, which I enjoy. I think and I've seen guys, some of these. Oh, this. oh, oh, that's oh, that's right. You get you start getting used to like, because if you die or if you fail, you have to go back to the beginning. Yeah, oh, God. yeah. Terrible, that's terribly terrible. brutal. Like if you that. miss a trap, like there's some parts where the trap like timer, you have to get it so quick or close, and then you have like yeah. one after the other. And if you miss the next one, they're in like you know, choking up some chick and bringing her into a fucking room or something. Yep. The windows are small for some of them. There's a there's a glitch. Oh, the feed uh, stops. Yeah, I don't know why. Why do they walk like that? 
Are they just are they old? Are they old ninjas that just have a back problem? (laughs) You know, they're like vampires. Honestly, they want they want blood. Wait, they're vampires, really? That's the story. Is that your story or the actual story? The actual story. There's they're vampires. Jesus. Jesus. In black, in black. uh, This was before we had the imaginative, glowing vampires of Twilight. So you know, yeah. What can they really do? Yeah. <laughs> What's the total play time on this like to go from start to finish? I f- uh, if, you, if you if don't you screw up. fuck up, 40 minutes. It's 40? Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. Well. Who is that guy? Why is Rambo is in here? Rambo? That's part of the scat team, baby. Oh, God. Do you have to tell him to go scat? It last very long. Oh, really? Nope. They come and get him and take him away. I want to watch him get <laughs> scatted. Or Spoilers. Something. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sorry. It's it's in the first seven minutes of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it happen soon? Does he get destroyed soon? Yeah, I think that was good. Oh, that yeah. Was oh. Like, yeah. yeah they got goes. him with the claw. He's dead. Him. Oh, and that's how they get your blood out, by the way. There's a hook and a drill that comes through the hook. That's how they get your blood. That's how they get your blood. They don't use their teeth? Uh-oh. This hasn't happened in a while. We've had a pretty good run with... Uh, with Skype not messing up. But I'm just going to strike a pose and then act like everything's okay. All right, the call died. <laughs> I'll call everyone back. One second. What the fuck? Why am I so small now? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh, you're actually... Yeah, your camera's going to get... be ruined. Co, get out of I the know. call. Go away, Co. Not actual Co. It's just he won't leave the camera thing. I don't want to swap over. Skype is a great uh That's the program. first time it's... Uh, that's what I was saying. It's the first time it's actually messed up in like a year or two. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. It's been pretty good lately. We can use this as an opportunity. Zeke, did I tell you what I ordered? No. Let me show you this. Okay. I have to stand up and get it because it's quite large. Ah. <laughs> so this <laughs> right here is a talk show VS4000 from TriCaster. Whoa. Yeah, it is a TriCaster. Oh, wow. Uh, this costs nine grand. It's a buy before you buy, thanks to new tech. But Jesus. this is potentially what's going to be running drop frames in the future. I just have to set it up, and I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Uh, but it's it's uh, drop frames and role play. It's uh, this is what CNN and like Fox and CBS and all those people use when they do Skype call-ins across the country. Uh, it's like production levels, TV production stuff. It's its own awesome. computer. You can set up four individual calls that then are able to talk to one another and give a pure 1080p 60 feed, and hopefully it works. But it's a fucking nightmare. Like these are SDI cables. For those that understand what SDI is, it's like the next bump up from HDMI. So I have to downgrade SDI to HDMI to get all these feeds, which means I have to buy all new cabling and all this other shit. But yeah, hopefully this solves nice. that. So stuff that just happened never ever happens again. And it's probably just going to be a giant clusterfuck of problems. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be some growing pains for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. I have a month to like get this set up and see if I want to use it. But uh, I'll go put this away. Zeke, is there anything else you want to say about uh, Night Trap? Are you good with no, that? Night Trap. That's, it's, uh, I'll probably go back and try it again if, if they fix that bug. Okay. And it's a known bug. It was in their forums. It's like, we just saw it. We're on it. Oh, so, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. At least they're responsive. Yeah. Uh, all right. Indie Sunday. We're doing it. You only played four or five games here. Yeah. I only think I played three. What is this? Is this God of War? Top down? Oh, this this game is called Redeemer. Uh, Redeemer, and I, I coined a phrase. I hope you don't mind if I try and spread the word. Do it. it is a twin stick beat em up or a tweet em up. Ooh, I like tweet em up. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a twin stick uh, beat em up game where you you travel around and you're this monk who used to have had a, had a really bad past. And he tried to, you know, 
um, change his ways and become calm and peaceful. And then his monastery was attacked. And so he's going to go and whoop some asses. And, uh, like, basically what you end up doing is, is a lot of this. Uh, there's, there's tons of different environmental kills. Uh, the, that's one of the best things about the game was uh, is the, um, the variety of different things you can do to dispatch of your enemies. Um, different animations, different, uh, like, every time you do a finishing move, there's many to pick from depending on your, depending on what weapon you have, depending on if you're, just, you're unarmed or whatever, depending on if you're near an environmental thing. Um, it's very easy to, to see a lot of them through a, through a few hours of play. I'm just the animations look pretty good. Is this early oh, yeah. access or is smooth, it out? Yeah. out? It's out. Okay. Uh, fourteen ninety nine. Uh, by Sobaka Studio is the developer of it. That's their only game Whoa. on Steam. Sobaka. S O B A K A. Okay. Kilbasa. Hey, combat looks pretty awesome. I'm hungry too, mm -hmm. Jericho. It is. It's Dude, very I'm satisfying sorry. combat. It's a lot like it plays a lot like um. Like Batman or or Shadows of yeah. or Shadow Mortar. Yeah, it's like combo based. Very like pop pop react, you know, counter them, move them aside, roll out of it, come up, do like a sweeping attack so you can hit like more guys at at one time. Oh. Um, one of my one of my favorite things that I discovered in a couple hours or an hour or so in was the uh, the disarm tactic, which is so it's so satisfying because you come up to a guy, you you grab his grab the hand that's pointing the weapon at you, yeah, and you spin around and grab the gun and you're immediately pointing at him so you go pop 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 and shoot him in the face with the, with a gun he was holding it awesome. was like super quick it was really fun does this have co-op um, uh is it co-op uh, it looks like it should support it but you never know uh, action violent gore indie beat him up nothing wow I know okay not. i do not know that's upcoming dlc we're not talking about that yet yeah maybe <laughs> Uh, and you can do charge attacks, uh, like a falcon punch or a falcon kick. Um, nice. Some guys, some guys you can't shoot because they have shields, so you have to melee them. So on and so forth. Um, have but bosses? it moves. It moves. It moves really fast too. Does it got bosses? Yes, it does. Indeed. Mm -hmm. They challenging. Yep. Let's see if not not them. super hard though. Now uh, I played on normal. Okay. Because there's there's difficulties. Normal and hard, I think. Um, but I played on normal, and it was. I, I one shot at him, but it was it was a fun fight. Okay. And I only think I only faced one boss because I wanted to. I could like to keep moving, play a couple hours and move on. Is that the boss? Nope. That's just a fucking Holy toxic. Shit. This game gets dude. bloody as shit. Yeah. Let's see all the like they have the blood splatter, the yep. splatter like behind them all and everything. It just goes. Yeah, I love it. It's gory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the soundtrack is pretty great too. Yeah, has it got like. What are we trans? What are we talking about? A little, a little. Uh, if I'm wait, oh. no. I get I get a lot of games confused yeah. in my, I get a lot of games confused in my head. Name I play the genre. Different ones. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I think it's this a rocket like a metal or rocker kind of a sound, but I'm not positive. I might be thinking of a different game. Um, hold on a second here. There we go. <clears throat> oh, nice. That was nice. Yeah, I was. <laughs> uh. Twin Stick Beat'em Up, this is my review. because I'm, I'm starting to do reviews on Steam. I did the curator thing, so I'm starting to do, like, when I do Indie Sunday, I review them on cast. Right. Um, oh, did you write uh, a review for this? Lots of variety in environment, uh, lots of variety in environmental kills, weapons, and finishers, satisfying control and movement. The aesthetic and story are decent, but nothing particularly special. Yeah, the, the story is just like, this guy used to be have a hard past, went to become a monk. Monk, the monastery got attacked. Now you're killing people. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, action movie type of, you know, basic storyline. Totally. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 bucks, you said? Yep. Nice. Oh, then, I recommend it. It's a good game. Is the next game beat em up as well? What is this? Ooh, different art style completely. Oh, no, no, no. This, it, it goes in and out from, like, modern style to, like, a hyperlight drifter kind of. Kind yeah, what, what game is that? Oh, this is the same. This is not the same game. This is a brand new game, right? No, 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 no. It's not. Okay. What is uh, this? this one is. Uh, this one, I think, this is Phantom Trigger. Yeah, Phantom Trigger. Uh, this one is. It's on sale right now for twelve. Usually sells for fifteen. Um, it's by. 
uh, bread team. That's the dev team is bread but team? It's, yeah, bread, yeah, bread team. Mm. And uh, there's a couple of guys' names, Victor and Dennis. Dennis Novikov and Victor Solidilov. And uh, it's published by Tiny Build, so. Mm. Mm. But it's super fast-paced. It's frustrating as fuck because it's it's because of the difficulty. It's it's a it's a tough game. They throw they throw a lot of shit at you at once, and you kind of get overwhelmed from time to time. Um, but not not too much so, where you don't learn how to deal with large amount of creatures or creatures that do certain have a certain move set and stuff like that. The cool one of the really cool things about this is the upgrade system or the power up system is uh, there's. I found there's three different bars. Oh, there's three different bars at the top. You see right down there? There's three yeah. different bars. There's blue, blue, green, and red. Red is fire, blue is ice, and green is your, like, electric whip kind of a thing. And if you look at the menu, you'll see, like, I saw these numbers, and it said, like, it had a green three and a red four. And I was like, what the fuck? Once you hit your your electric whip level to three and your um, your fire fist up to four, you get another special move. And their their move combos are like are like, you know, three buttons like X X Y will do like a fire circle, or A A Y will do like a, a you'll do like a ice blast, shit like that. Right. But it's very 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 similar aesthetic to to Hyperlight Drifter. But there's these little weird vignettes like story vignettes, so you're like oh this must there must be something going on psychologically because it goes from this kind of look and period to like a pixelated psychiatrist's office. Yeah, I showed a bit of that. Let me see if I can pull it back up. This right here. Yeah. yeah. You played it yeah, before. It, it has some story elements that I did not, I had not puzzled, I have not puzzled out yet. You played it for like an hour 20. Are you going to go back? I might, I, I always say that, but I play so many games that I, I want to go back to that I just don't because they're new games to play. Yeah, not yeah. enough time. Yeah. Um, cool, yeah, it's cool. This, I think the soundtrack, this one this is the soundtrack I really liked. Uh, fast paced and challenging. Uh, it rewards disciplined gameplay. Sound design is excellent. And the environments are, uh, environment is eye catching. Story is intriguing, but I didn't see much due to limited, limited play time. Okay. Yeah. That was your, was that your Steam review from Z and Z's? Yep. <laughs> it's the Berserkers of Zekodia because it's not under my name, it's under my team name. Oh, you get like okay. your stream to go like in your stream review and just like like it up so you get like the top review they can that's a good <laughs> idea i never thought i never thought about that but you go ahead hey look, you're gonna be famous on steam uh <laughs> wait is, what how much how much do you have to uh uh do you have to write reviews like a specific amount or is it like you know just whatever you want to do for what for for the for the uh, Steam thing, you said you're part of a Steam. Um... It's the curator. All you have to do is have oh, a Steam. Yeah. Okay. He's the curator. Oh, okay, no. I, for some reason I thought it was like some extra level that you got. No, no, no. just a Steam group, and if you're the curator of your Steam group, then you can leave curator reviews, yeah. and then gotcha. people can follow your like they. The difference is they can follow your specific like they can you can follow Total Biscuit oh, and, and just look at his. That's kind of cool. I didn't know yeah. about that. Yeah, no, I just found out about it last week, and people were like, because I I. I think it was the crap out of ten review that I gave. They're like people in the chat were like, "You should be a curator." Like, okay, I'll look into it, and I looked into it, and I figured that'd be a good thing for any Sunday to you know give a thumb up, thumb down to games that yeah. no one's heard of and may or may not play, and might might even give a shit about my opinion on them. Totally. Yeah. Makes also, sense. I have to answer that same question a billion times. Like, what about that? What did you think of that game you played like two weeks ago? Look at my look at my Steam thing. And, no, the Steam know. review. Read it. That's nice. That's actually, I would have never thought of that. Thank you. I will, uh, there you go. You played this next uh, game. I would I would uh, definitely recommend it for twelve bucks. Fifteen is pushing it. Okay. You play this yeah. next game for seven minutes, and I am so curious to know why. Seven what? whole minutes. Oh, that's not. Did it just not work? Oh no no no! It's because I wanted to. I, I I might come back to this. It's called Looter Kings. I might come back to this because it, the it's not oh. it's Twitch it's Twitch integrated, but not intuitively Twitch integrated. You actually have to like copy files and do all this. Oh shit. really? Oh. Yeah yeah yeah. So I want to come back to this and play <laughs> Looter Kings when I have it set up and ready to go. But I didn't want to have to like muddle through it in front of the audience and see the like files like that. Oh, oh yeah. god. Yeah yeah. What the fuck? Well, that's actual code. What the fuck? Yeah. 
There's a thing called an API. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you should try it out. That's fucking ridiculous. All right, then uh, the third and final game is... What is this? This one was fucking cool. Um, uh, hold on, let me make sure I got the name. Oh, it it's is kind of Metroidvania. Uh, Crypt Ark. Crypt Ark, huh? Crypt Ark. C R Y P T A R K. Crypt Ark. Uh, this game came out in June uh, 20th, so it's been out for a little, a little bit under a month. Um, the really cool, really big selling point for this game is the mobility of it. It's like a Metroidvania. Well, not. It's not even a Metroidvania. It's uh, you are a hired contractor to go onto these ships and salvage stuff. They're like, a lot of them are like derelict ships with defense programs and mechanisms. And you go in there and you have like objectives and you have optional objectives. Like go in there with only three bars of shield, destroy uh, this particular thing. And then uh, don't use any health packs or whatever. Like you can get optional stuff. But the thing that really struck me about this game is the mobility. I it's, it's, no platforming. It's all in space. So it's yeah. all zero. G, yeah. Like, and it's really, really, really responsive. It's twin stick as well. You, okay. Most people would, most people would use a mouse. I'll be honest with you. Most people would probably use a mouse, but I, I love, I love the feel of, of, of twin stick shooting. Um, but, uh, uh, the graphics are really cool. Most like think they're all like they're hand drawn. I want to say they, they look uh, really cool. That brain yeah, looks no, a little squishy. Style. That brain looks yeah. good. I like the look of that brain. Oh, you I want to. I want to poke that brain. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, Give me yeah. that brain. Is it weird that it looks like Path of Exile maps to me? Like you got a waypoint, you have places to go. There's tons of mobs. You go to the thing. You got to dodge different. <laughs> like, it looks very similar to a, a top-down or to a call POE well, yeah. a thing. That yeah, I know. <laughs> one of the, one of the cool Probably. things uh, we had a uh, we had one of the the. I think it was either PR or one of the devs or something like that in the chat. And uh, I was, there's these things that you can go for called artifacts. And it's, it'll say like you have a, a selection of five derelict, giant derelict ships that you have to like blast your way through and salvage. And they give you these, these little, you know, the optional things. And then one of the optional things sometimes is an artifact. Mm -hmm. And it makes, sometimes it makes it like super difficult. So I went in there, I was like, oh, I can do this. I'm going to, uh, Go in there with uh, this, 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 and this, and this. But the caveat was when you go on a mission, you have a you have to spend money on your loadout every time. So hmm. if you, it's going to cost you money every time you go out. So you, it's it's something in the back here like I have to make a fucking profit. It it seems it's like a job. Like I I have to equip myself with with missiles and a shield, and that costs money. And you got to go out and hopefully you salvage enough money to not only break even, but, you know, gain a little. So one of the one of the missions was to get an artifact was to go in with 30K or less equipment. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the guy in the chat was like, uh, mm, you know, you're not going to want to. Don't do that. That's, yeah, don't do that's that. a bad. That's a bad plan. <laughs> I, went, I, nah, I can do it because I was doing pretty well. But I didn't realize how much you actually use all the other equipment that you have. And I just got, like, annihilated in less than a minute. Because <laughs> the ship I went to had a new kind of, like, swarm enemy. And yeah, I couldn't take my shield. So it was like... And I just got, like, impaled. <laughs> it was awesome. But, like, the, the animation, like, when they talk to you, mm -hmm. it's like... Um, 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 you ever watch uh, Stephen Colbert and he has that animated Trump with a, the... The mouth. <laughs> yeah. That's sure, like yeah. what their mouths do. It's like they're talking, they say all the words, and like, blah, 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 blah. right. I don't know. It's a small thing, but I, I thought that was pretty cute. Is, is there, uh, I'm seeing like tiny bits of story. Is there a thorough story throughout the entire game, or is it more just kind of jumping from point to point? I didn't get to play enough of it, but there's there's a definite, definite business, like, a, um, sort of like a mafia feel, like a space mafia kind of a, kind of a, a ominous. Like when I died, when I ran out of money, it showed these three like lizardy, turtley looking guys in business suits. They were like, you know, they'd say like, "You're out of money, game over, it's done," <laughs> you know. And they were like, the you know, half of the shadow was covering their face and shit. I'm like, oh, okay, so there's like Thomas. an Illuminati or something, right? Nice loan shot. But yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't uncover a lot of it. <laughs> but I will say, man, as far as gameplay goes, this is. 
very, very good. Spot on movement, control, shooting. Everything feels feels really, really satisfying. Looks nice um, too, man. It's how much? And it, the, the style is, I mean, this, the style is great too. It's 15 bucks, totally worth it. Not bad. Um, let me see here. Just so I remember, did I say anything about this one? Uh, uh, I did. I know I did. There it is. Uh, very pleasantly surprised by this game. I thought it was. Oh, I thought it might be a, just a space shooter, and I was totally wrong. Control gameplay and OST. Oh, the OST is really good too. OST are superb. Uh, there is also a good bit of strategy as well. Yeah, planning out what your loadout is going to be, based on, you know, the the optional goals and that kind of shit to make money. <laughs> Man, there's a lot going on screen. Yeah, I was yeah, like, I it's, know. it's like uh, it's because I'm I'm destroying the the brain of the ship, and it's the alarms oh. went off. You can disable those alarms, but in this particular thing, it was like one of the optional things was do not disable the alarm. You'll get more stuff if you yeah, yeah, you get like 30k extra at the end of the mission. But I think I end up dying. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yep. I think it yep. just died. Right no, you die, you lose money. Yeah, when you die, every like what you spent on your loadout. So oh, if yeah, I went over the 120k, there, yeah, pilot. Rec oh, and also <laughs> when you die, they take a hundred thousand dollars to get your pilot back. <laughs> so the next to thirty grand goes away pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. I mean, you gotta like reason out like, is it worth me not going in there with a shield if I can get thirty k out of it? But it means I'm prob. I, there's a good chance I might die, and then that's another hundred k. So that's where the strategy comes in. Like, what is it worth? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, cool. Anything else you played? I know that was it for Indie I, Sunday on a Monday. Anything else? I did play, um, uh, uh I finished, oh, they, they fixed, uh, Dragon's Lair. Oh, yeah? I played, I, I played, I finished that, I played from start to finish on that yesterday, I think. What was wrong with Dragon's Lair? Dragon's Lair had a, a game-breaking re uh, repeat bug, I think. Oh. When it, when I, when I first picked it up. It would either not co it would not progress the actual story of the thing and the the scenes were. I'm curious, Jericho. Have you ever seen this game? I have not, and I'm laughing oh, because yeah. this looks insane. I figured you'd never. This game's like a pretty big deal in video games. It's one of the biggest, like in terms of just games that made a lasting impression on the industry. This is a pretty big deal. And uh, this was this was arcade only for a while, and then it came yeah, to yeah. Laser Disc. Yeah. Well, I remember seeing it. it was in every arcade, every every arcade. Yeah, it says Dragon's Lair release date 1983. I remember going to Aladdin's castle <laughs> and, and plugging a token in and dying immediately and wondering what the fuck is going on. And then you sit there and someone who knows how to play the game comes in and it's fucking amazing because it's all it's all QTEs. That's that's the entire game is QuickTime. Jesus, yeah. I'm, I'm getting so mad watching this. Here, yeah, uh, it, oh, Jericho. Here's something. That's, <laughs> when you watch Stranger Things uh, in August and they're playing this game, you'll know what it is now because of Zeke. <laughs> all right, you're, you're right. In the trailer, they're playing Dragon's Quest, and it's a big deal to nostalgia fans because this is what you played back in the arcade, just like Zeke was saying. That's awesome. Yep, and it, uh, Bluth, Don, Don Bluth, I think. Is the guy is is the guy uh, responsible for this? He did like the animation for like Sword in the Stone. That's why this guy looks like K from Sword in the Stone, the cartoon. Yeah, this is Dirk the Daring. But I remember watching this and going, "Wow, you can fucking play a cartoon!" Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's re it's a revolutionary it looks game good. for sure. Yeah, it's it's frustrating, difficult. Uh, there's many different settings that you could do too, like. I have the 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 see that circle with the three air, the four hours around it. I yeah. have that the prompts turned off. Oh, so, so you, you have, to, have to watch. Oh, okay. You have to watch the screen to see. Sometimes they'll flash which way you're supposed to go, and sometimes you just have to fucking make a shitty guess and hope that's the right one. So, in the arcade version uh, of this Zeke, each one of these deaths was a new credit, right? A new quarter, a new dime, got, or whatever it was. You got three three lives for fifty cents. Yeah. Oh my god! Probably, it was like, if, really if I was, expensive. If I was counting. It it probably would have been like over two hundred bucks. <laughs> it was a really expensive game back then. Yeah, because <laughs> you gotta yeah. remember it's early nineteen eighties. So like you know. Wow. Yeah. 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 And they pad. The funny thing is, you can see like playing through it the original the original way, or not the original way. In the arcade, they would switch scenes randomly. So when you died, a new there was no order to the scenes. They would just pop up. 
like different oh. scenes would just pop up. <laughs> but this, you can totally see, like, as I went through it, you go through a lot of, like, a few of the same exact rooms, except completely mirrored. It's oh, exactly man. the same. Yeah. Animation, everything, but it's mirrored. And <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and this, this was... I had to hear her talk. Like, this is the worst part of the game. I had to, because I, you, you have to fuck up and figure shit nice out. Work, so you have to listen to this, like, 45 second, her going like, the key, you need the magic sword to kill the dragon, and the key is around his neck. <laughs> I had to hear that, I want to say, at least 25 times. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No, already. Uh, what, also, do we talk about this at all? What is this? You play this. Oh you butt fart. Butt fart. <laughs> butt fart. What is this? Butt fart. That's my save file. Is butt fart. What game is this? This game is called Noctropolis. Oh boy. It's an old game. I I love these old nostalgia games. I had a, a whole a slew of them suggested to me, and I've been just kind of tasting them. And if I like them, I'll play through them. Uh, this one was is from 1994. Look at There's that man. Yep, there's some FMV elements, but it's that gritty, like, Wing Commander FFE that's, like, real shitty. Uh, yeah. It's not, like, real movie that's, like, graph, but, like, pixely. Yeah. Terrible. But it's, 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 it's basically, if you guys, you guys know what Cool World is? Like, the movie Cool World? Okay. No, I think, no? Comic artist, comic artist falls into his comic book. Okay. Oh, okay. And has to he becomes the new hero of the comic book. Okay. So you're going around solving crimes, solving like, you know, confronting bad guys and going through like point and click uh dialogue choices and that kind of stuff. Uh it's a point and click game, so you have like grab this, pick up this, uh use this, that kind of stuff. Um but there's some there's some really like cheesy ass dialogue which I just, you know, I really enjoy. That's jam. But uh, I don't know how. Like I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Let me see. How much is it? Ten bucks? Meh. That's not too bad. Meh. Meh. I mean, you're seeing you're seeing what it is. You go from like these. This is the map. You just go from place to place. Look for clues. Look for shit on the ground. Uh, try and like combine this with that. What's the name of this again, Z? Knock. Tropolis. Knock. Tro I'm I'm just curious. I'm gonna go to Steam charts and just see how many people buy this. Yeah, I'm curious too. Like, uh, is this current players zero? The 30 yeah. day average is 0. 0.2. Yeah, 0. 30 day players. gain is 0. 0.1. So I wonder if that's from Zeke playing it. <laughs> Maybe I have I had never heard of this game until someone recommended it to me. And if you're not if you're not into point and clicks and you can't put up with the fucking oldness of it, don't bother. Dude. But if you like old shit, I mean, it's it's got all this all the stuff you all the stuff you point and click lovers have or want there was oh. this i think there was a steam sale in november of 2015 because its peak players was 44 and so far it has an eclipse six players or really two players average all-time <laughs> peak is 44 24 hour peak is zero playing an hour ago zero huh i just feel like it's one of those games once you beat it you're not going to go back to it Oh god, oh, no, there's yeah. no replay value. So like, yeah, I mean, these guys could have beaten it like I don't even know how long the game takes, but yeah. like it's it takes a really really good point and click for replay value. I like Day wanna... of the Tentacle, um some of the Monkey Island games. Yeah. Uh um, the Indiana Jones one I played was pretty great. I would go back to point and click games just to see like how drastically much shorter it is after the, after you know everything to do because I bet this particular game you could beat it in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if you knew exactly where to, what to do and where Jesus. to go. Jesus. Just to click that But, like, that puzzling fast. it out is, the, is part of the game. Yeah. Click, 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 click. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, well, cool. That's pretty much everything we've been playing. We'll do a little bit of news. Uh, anyone checking out Dauntless on Friday? I'll be jumping in. I'm curious to see how it goes. It's, it's the Monster Hunter, but not Monster Hunter PC game that looks to be pretty good. Um, I know it'll, it'll probably be... No be from me. It'll probably be pretty big on Twitch for a day or two. We'll see how much lasting power it has because I think it's still alpha. I don't think it's full release at all. Um, what kind of a game is Dauntless? Monster Hunter. Oh, right. I saw that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this before. Yeah. It looks pretty fun. Uh, I'll be jumping into that. That uh, sounds cool. I think next week there's the new Uncharted game coming out. Um, 
It's I new Uncharted, it. really? Yeah, but yeah. it's not Nathan Drake. It's it's Chloe oh. and I'm forgetting the other character. Who name. cares? Yeah, it's like Indiana Jones without Jones. Without Indiana yeah. Jones. Then it's Come just on. Indiana. Yeah. And nobody yeah. wants to go there. No, it's just, it's, nobody it's, it's wants Indiana, Indiana. It's Indiana Jones. Sala's adventure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I might watch that though. <laughs> <laughs> it looks all right. It looks all right. I'm. Yeah, I might jump into it. We'll see. A um, bunch of people have been streaming XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I think I'm going to jump into that tomorrow. Uh, that's the new DLC stuff coming out. I'm just, wa- I want to play it early so I don't have to compete with that or Mario Raving, the Rabbits game that comes out the same day. Uh, so I'm glad I got access to, to that earlier. Speaking of strategic turn based RPGs, yeah. how did you not get into XCOM? What do you mean? Didn't you, you weren't on the list of people who could play it? Oh, no, no, I got access. I, uh, that went oh, out to like a, uh, there was a third party PR agency that handled that, not th- for access themselves. Oh, um, I thought you tweeted something about that. Was I wrong? No, I did. But that right after okay. that's when I got access. Yeah. The, the CM saw it and yeah, got it. he didn't handle yeah. it. He didn't handle the invite. So the PR company did. So I wasn't on the PR company's radar. So take a lesson, kids. A little bit of bitching goes a long way. Oh, totally. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Squeaky wheel, man. That's the industry right here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Absolutely. Uh, I guess also StarCraft uh, Remastered came out this week for those people that just want to watch it because you're never going to be as good as any player playing StarCraft. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> it's prettier. You can watch it now. It looks real pretty. Um, but apart from that, you don't want to play it because you don't have... 100 plus APM or playing with fucking 20 year old mechanics of a game where you just have to do really fucking wonky shit and no movement AI from a game, blah, 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 blah. But it's cool to watch. Um, It's cool to kind of see that game. It it actually was at the top of Twitch a couple days back uh, in terms of uh, one channel with viewer count. Not, not yeah, I was going to say, was there a pro playing it? No, there was like a tournament that Blizzard was doing. It was real like off the cuff tournament. They invited a bunch of uh, StarCraft 1 casters and pros and people from the scene uh so everyone was watching it so that was cool to see um and then what else i don't think there was anything else big that came out this week uh i i think we should probably mention uh bike man uh ended up having some issues with uh with his health I, oh yeah yeah i haven't uh i haven't seen any tweets come out of him but i think his surgery was this, we'll see, but this today I think yeah sometimes. this today this morning sometime uh, he was having open heart surgery to remove, I believe, three blockages, blockages yep. or cloggings or... of of some arteries, uh, which is yep. fucking yeah. scary to begin with. I remember when I had, uh, I was having the heart pain like three or four months back, and it ended up just being stress. I thought it was a heart attack, and I was freaking the fuck out. So I can't even imagine what it was like actually having a heart attack and having to deal with that. It just, <sighs> it's a fucking nightmare. Uh, um, uh. I've seen a bunch Wake of streamers. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of streamers kind of say like, "Hey, I need to start actually eating right because it's a very sit down all day type job, and we treat our bodies like shit." Uh, so yep. a bunch of people are starting to work on that somewhat, so they don't have the same issues. Because Bike, I think, was like late thirties or something like that. Thirty-seven, is... right? I think he is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he also yeah. he took he yeah. took an as- I saw the clip, and he's like, "That aspirin isn't helping." And immediately, cause I was like, oh, like that was huge because yeah. aspirin is like the first blood thing thinner, you should right? be doing. Yeah, blood yeah. thinner. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think he tweeted out that ended up saving his life was the four aspirin that he took. If he didn't take wow. that, he would have actually had a full on full blown heart attack and Holy probably shit. not lived through yep. it, which is fucking insane because 24 hours before that, I was sitting in discord with him talking about Path of Exile. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> it was just nuts. That was just a, a crazy thing. So I'm. I'm Waiting, yeah. I think a bunch of people are waiting to see his uh, his tweet, but obviously right after surgery, he, I don't think he's going to... I need the Twitters. Give me the phone. <laughs> yeah. I should note, like, uh, my grandfather has had seven bypasses and, yeah. like, 11 stints. Like, That's a lot. And he's old. Yeah, he's... I mean, he's 87. So, like, yeah, we're at the point where, very thankfully, the, like, people are pretty good at open-heart surgery. So, I mean, yeah, while, while scary, anymore. it's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's... Uh, gotta be that must help you feel a little bit better going into it yeah mm-hmm. totally, totally hopefully i mean it's still not fucking fun at all but right uh no i thought it was it showed to uh bike man's professionalism and, and character like the day that he found out that he had it 
uh, he was scheduled to be on a show for a role play on Saturday. Uh, and he DM'd me like as he's in the hospital doing this is, Hey, uh, ran in some health <laughs> problems, man. I can't, uh, can't do the show Saturday. So yeah, sorry about that. Wow. And I was just like, dude, why the fuck are you even messaging me? Like, <laughs> yeah. of course you can't fucking do the show. <laughs> just uh, do deal with whatever you need to deal with and I'll figure out my own <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, so that I, just, I was blown away by show that. You, like, just to show you how, how well liked bike man is and how the community comes together. Like, um, I think Barry and I'm not sure if anybody helped him, but Barry Carlin put up a put up a, a donation page, right? Mm -hmm. um, because he's gonna be out for like at least five, five weeks. weeks. Oh, I said. said five weeks. Yeah. Heart attacks are no like he will be not able to walk upstairs. Like it's a real yeah. fucking deal. It, it's, it's a bad. big deal. Yeah. But being away from your stream that long is, I like the sentiment of don't worry about being away from the stream. Just worry about healing. And this here's the money to help you not worry about that. And it's like over 18k right now. It's fucking yeah, amazing. It's That's awesome. awesome. Oh, so, really? Uh, yeah. 22 minutes ago, Bike's mom tweeted out, "Bike just got out of operating room, and doctor said everything went great. Thanks for your well wishes." So there you go. Yeah. All good. Good. Wonderful. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry to cut you off. He's at. Uh, I think you said the number, but 18,000 raised right now. Uh, yep. It's been it's been posted around in. Um, in our chat, I think it's been kind of going around all over Twitch. So, if you're uh, if you want the URL and, and you're not happen, you're watching on YouTube. It's tips.barrycarlisle.co.uk/bikeman. So, uh, and goes, there's yeah, it's it good. goes to the point out. Like, I mean, it's one of those things where a lot of streamers probably don't even pay for health insurance and all that. Yeah, and it's they, because they they, it's not provided by Twitch or anything. So you end up having to you have to go out and do it for yourself. Yeah, Friend of and a lot of people, you know, they just, you know, I'm not going, I'm not gonna get hit by a car or anything. I'll be fine, right? You know, it's. I remember um, there was, was a, a was it Ava. Cry? Oh no, I guess oh, Ava had Cryotic also had the same thing where he had something happen and it was like a hundred and thirty thousand dollars in bills because he didn't have health insurance. Ava had appendicitis and it was like forty two thousand dollars, you know, and it's like yeah, that's you know that's you. You need insurance, man. You got like if it's, it's if it's not covered, to have you, to pay you gotta for, get it. But, I mean, I mean, but it doesn't suck when you even if an it, yeah. even an emergency visit, like yeah. to an emergency room, it, like that shit really stacks up a yeah, a, a ride in the uh, ambulance is like a thousand bucks just to be in there. It's like it's Jesus. more now. It used to be like it might crazy. Be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Aaron just had like a routine checkup the other day, and she tweeted out that it was something like seven grand for her bill. Uh, without insurance, but with insurance, it was like a hundred bucks yep. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. So, X-rays and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. It, it might suck to, you know, fork over a couple hundred a month, but it's going to save your ass. In I case, wish in case I a family of three right now. Oh, okay. Paying you're paying like a lot 1, more. 1500. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking stupid, but it's uh, my mortgage. Yeah. Well, it's that's, worth that's it. If you like, have some crazy shit, I knew I, I had to go to the hospital once after I, cause I was on, I was covered under my mom worked at the post office for many years and, and they have the oh, best yeah. insurance. Yeah. And it's so disgustingly nine day. Like I would go into the, to the doctor and it was like $15 copay and that was it. And then once I was off insurance and I had to go and get checked on something, they just like took off the latex glove, put on like brass knuckles with spikes <laughs> and shoved it straight up my ass. <laughs> It was. Yeah. So it was like, oh, hey, it's not going to be so bad. I mean, it's bad. Yeah. Insurance is a must, even if you never use it. Even if it's even if it's the lowest, like five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand dollar deductible, which means you have to pay seven thousand dollars, but it's not forty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. First world country, know. by the way. <laughs> Yep. I know, you pay all this money every month. And then you, yeah. I, you wonder why health insurance has been such a big deal in politics lately. I mean, it just makes you think it's weird how that works out. <laughs> no, I've been watching I've been watching chat and, and it's there's fucked up things here, there's good things here everywhere, you know. Yep. It's, some shit's cheap, some some's really expensive, man. Without yeah, we might not have good insurance, but you know what we do have? Deep fried Mars bars, boys. Let's Boom. go. Yep. Country Let's go. Bears. I'm excited. And we have the best internet in the world. Mm. <laughs> we have a top hey. 30. Uh-oh. Uh, Nothing. Mobile. Nothing. Never mind. We don't have anything. This is going to quickly devolve into a politics podcast. So yeah. anyone check out I the new. Zeke, I don't think the, uh, Tim Acker or Jericho will, but are you going to check out the new No Man's Sky update that they pushed last week? Fuck no. 
Not interested at all. They actually did a bunch. Of I wasn't game. interested. Good. I wasn't it interested. It's, it's not my kind of game when it when it, when it released <laughs> when we were lied to. Yeah. It, yeah, it looks good, but I'm not going to support. I already bought the game. I mean, I guess I could just jump in there and 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 play it again. But like, I don't know. I they lost me as a as a uh, player. Yeah. Here's uh, D and D Beyond, uh, which is kind of something in my wheelhouse. They it, it's a mobile app for Dungeons and Dragons where you can like create characters and stuff like that on your phone. So it's kind of handy. Uh, nice. It finally launched this week. They're charging. One ninety nine per magical item if you don't want to buy the books again for the thing. So anytime you add, and and this is what's crazy, you could just fucking open a web browser and find a magical item from the book just on the internet right now. But they're charging two bucks per, or I think it's twelve ninety nine for everything. So that's kind of fucking crazy. I haven't jumped into the app. I think me and uh. Mr. Adam Coble will jump into it once he gets back from all his trips just to kind of give our review of it. But that's crazy to me if that's true. Because what the fuck? That's so ridiculous. Two bucks for something you could just Google. Um, I don't think there's really any other news. It's kind of just the, the dead zone right now. But we're almost done. Once we get through August. We're so close. Once we get through August, games are coming out. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what we got to look forward to then. Uh, well, Destiny. I'm looking forward to Destiny. Yeah. They, uh, Destiny actually put out that uh, the PC trailer yesterday. Oh, Which, if, like Destiny coming out. The, wait, hold on. Hold pretty on. huge. P- PC is late, right? Delayed? Yeah. Yeah. But the, the beta is the 28th or something like that, Zeke? If yep, you want to jump 28th. Yeah. I'm trying to find that uh, the trailer because it, it looks <clears throat> phenomenal. It looks really good uh, graphically. I would, like, I would like I would like to take this time while I'm thinking about it to apologize to my Final Fantasy FC if I am absent. <laughs> yeah. Do they have this in 4K? Oh, it does go 4K 60 on their official trailer. This is what it but looks then, like. Again, I might not be competitive now that it's coming to PC. <laughs> God, that looks so good. Like I can't even go yeah. back and play the console version of that after seeing I'm this. I'm going to I'm going oh, to yeah. throw up because I'm going to, you know, we're going to go from like FOV slider and shit to like this hideous fucking console game where I can't aim for anything. I'm so mad that they're doing that. Look at how Part good that looks, us. man. With like HDR and fucking yeah, everything going. That looks Ooh. fucking awesome. Oof. Also, if you're watching on stream or YouTube, it's only 1080p. You can go watch the 4K version of it on on their uh, YouTube channel, which you should. Mm. Zeke, now, I, I see you over there fighting. You're like fighting your face back because you don't want to get I, excited or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not that. I have, I have, uh, I haven't seen any of the gameplay. Is it still the basic like, like if you group up, it's it's the three man group. Yeah, yeah, three, three man per, group. Per, I think six man uh, raids what? or whatever. You can- you can do okay. yeah yeah, uh, you can do four people. Oh, you can. Right? Yeah, wait. Yeah, it's four v four. You? I yeah. the strikes that I did when I played the beta was only three. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. You're probably right. Because I'm saying like we have three regular hosts and drop frames. I mean, just flatten the seat. PVP is four v four. Yeah. Uh, okay. Three yeah. for strike for ever. Okay, cool. You might okay, have a hard, You okay. might have a hard time getting uh, Co to play the console version though. Oh, I'm not playing the console version. Yeah. Well, that I'm not, do that. I will if it's coming out for PC. I'll play PC, and I'll just I'll just have to suck it up and, and maybe maybe try and get good. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll try and get good. Get good, yes. that kid. Get good. Uh, what was this? I didn't even realize you. Someone mentioned it. The Rainbow Six update came today, or is this a trailer? Oh, this is a trailer that launched. I guess this isn't live yet. So they're adding more stuff. New map. This theme park stuff, stuff. New map, new class. What's probably. the new class? Do you know? I don't. I don't know if they're doing a new class. They, I'm assuming if they're dropping content. Yeah, I guess we'll see. If they show that right now, they're just showing the map with no fights on it. Middle Earth Shadow of the War loot boxes. Yeah, I saw that last week. Just don't buy them. Like, just get over loot boxes. Overwatch made it super popular, so everyone's going to be doing it. Just don't buy them. That's all I got yes, to. Overwatch is the only one. Well, no, Overwatch is the reason they're all. Because oh, do you realize how much money Overwatch makes from loot boxes? You're, I, yes. 
I'm just saying cases and how much I've spent. But that Counter Strike was I'm, the one that like put it. Mm, okay. What yes. do you mean? Mm. You might be right. I think the majority of people looked at what CS did and said, "Well, we can't do that with our game." And then everyone saw what Overwatch did with Luke Case and says, "Oh, that makes sense. We can do that with our game." I mean, like, I that's just think Valve it. did it. Valve was just like every single game we have has loot boxes now. Or that makes and then sense. But yeah, yeah. But yeah. you're right. It, I mean, it, that's it's a stupid point of contention to begin with. They're in every game, regardless of where they came from. <laughs> Just don't buy them. That's how you get around it. Unless they do some weird stuff where you have to buy them to progress, etc. Then you just don't play that game. Uh, I think that's it. I don't. Is there anything you guys want to bring up? We got like 20 minutes to kill. If there is, I know Zeke had to go right at the. No, did you look up what's coming up? Uh, I can real quick. It's kind of dead. Son There's that new Sonic Mania game that came out. Oh, the Sonic Mania game that everyone like. I saw quite a what few. What is it? Like that. It's Sonic. It's it's like old school Sonic, like one Genesis looking game that plays exactly like that. If that's your jam, I looked at that game and I just it's not a fan. It's not my type of game. It's well, a platformer, it, it, but Sonicy. It's for Sonic people, yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Like I watched it and I I remember oh, yeah, the, yeah. the old songs and the old sites. And I remember, because I, I watched uh, Future Man play a little bit, and he was doing the the bonus, I don't know if it's a bonus stage, but it's the one where the world Orb. turns, and not you you don't turn. Yep. And I was like, oh, oh, I can't I can't do it. I can't watch this. Yep, yep. Uh, next week is Uncharted Lost Legacy, which we were talking about, and then uh, Madden NFL 18. So everyone probably didn't want to launch that day, because Madden's going to fucking destroy everyone in sales. Oh yeah. Um, and then the week after mm -hmm. that is Mario plus Rabbits King to Battle. Uh, there's a new Yakuza game out for that niche audience. Absolver comes out uh, on the 29th. Oh, I'm definitely checking that out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that looks fucking sick. Is Abduction that game that has? Uh, Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! What? What was, what was Jericho? I saw that. What the fuck was that? What? That I just move. said, eh, it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it's not for me. I'm right there. Like, I don't, I don't know. You don't have to take it too seriously. No, it's so, it's like just barely, I glanced at, I glanced at the Skype, and I just saw an honest, like, honest reaction. It's like someone who, like, cringes, but yeah, doesn't know they're doing it. And I was like, I'm sorry, no. it looks fucking sick. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. It's all versus fine. Yeah, no, I totally, I totally get it. I just thought that was funny. Nah. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, Jericho. Uh, it, Abduction's that game with Elijah Wood in it, right? The VR game? Yeah. 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 The one that's uh, fucking, that's like the mental yeah. thing that we saw at E3. Is that right? I, it, I think that's I'm, that game. No, I'm okay. going to fucking play that. Abduction is a game already. Oh, abdu oh, you're right. Okay. That comes out on PS4. Never mind. I thought that was something else. Uh, and then Destiny 2 launches on the 8th. That's kind of the big. The big next game, and that'll probably dominate Twitch. F I, I'm I really well, want to see game, how that game goes. Destiny, Destiny. Okay, yeah. On PC, uh, I mean, on on PC when it comes out, it should it should be pretty sizable. I'm curious how it's gonna do on uh, console because the launch, yeah. during the launch, like of the beta, it never. Pa it didn't even pass maybe it passed battlegrounds like once for a little bit but battlegrounds was still beating it you know league like but it was it was like an hour and a half of content right like it didn't yeah. have enough time to actually build up viewers because that by the time people yeah. watched it was done you saw everything you could see yeah i guess you're right um, so we'll see yeah I, I think obviously like goth and and then we'll do fantastic uh for the entire month of september to be honest yep. especially when the raids deserving. come out yeah deserving obviously uh, carrying that game on their back kind of the past couple of years. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to see, like, if, if it stays. Like, if, if there's enough content for that game to be in the top three, top four of Twitch for a month. I really don't think it's going to go past a month. Maybe I maybe wouldn't. so because of the staggered release with PC. Like, it'll, it'll pop back up. But then, you know, come November, are people still going to be talking, playing Destiny nonstop? Well, it's going to be the new kind of MMO, though. That and that community is ridiculous. The Destiny it is, community yeah. is ridiculous. So they, I mean, I think it might have a grasp. So it'll probably be longer than most, but uh, God only knows how long, though. Yeah, depends what comes up in the future. That might just kind of draw the crowds. Sure. 
The other funny thing, Knack 2 also comes out on September 5th, three days before <laughs> Destiny. So that game's just being sent out to completely die. Uh, just utterly get absolutely <laughs> destroyed in any cells, which is kind of sad. Do these people think about that kind of shit? Like... Oh, man, I'm sure the reason it's coming out the 5th and not the 8th is because they want to try to get some sales for three days. Just try to get something out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. release the 6th. Uh, 8th is what it's saying here. Is it? Is it the 6th? Oh, really? I'm just looking on the internet. It says September 6th. There might be early, like early access okay. for pre-orders or something. Does it come out on a Friday or a f the 5th is a Tuesday? I don't know. Maybe this, Maybe what I'm looking at is wrong. September sixth. But Giant Bomb got, powers like the majority of the internet with their wiki, so I would think that they are usually on top of things. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. They moved it back. I think I, I remember them doing that. Okay, it's the sixth. There you go. I guess this hasn't been updated. Uh, and then that's <laughs> kind of it through September. A um, couple of Metroid games. Metroid uh, Samus Returns for the 3DS on the 15th. It's all about that October 17th for this boy. What's that? The Fractured Butthole. Yeah. Oh, is that when that's coming out? That'll be a fun. Oh, out. yeah. I love oh, yeah. that. No, I'm going to play it. that until I fucking drop. Release. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be. I haven't Down, done a 24-hour yeah. stream in years, but that might be my first one that I've done in a long time. <laughs> yeah. You think you'll get 24 out of it? Yeah, I don't know. You might beat it before that. Yeah. Well, RPG. The, Zeke plays a little slow. You got to remember. Like, he, he, yeah. Yeah. And also, I, I I fail a lot. Yeah, I think you could make twenty four. Some some time lost for deaths. Yeah, Man, that's <laughs> coming soon, huh? Holy yep. shit! No, it's it's stunning how many times I look on how long to beat, and when I go back and I'm like, fuck, man. How do you register something for how long to beat? Do you have to like submit your save There's a website file? Called how long to beat? No, no, I know, but how do you oh. register the hours it took for you to beat it there? Because that's how they, they get those reports: is people register their time to beat the game. It's not just oh. a singular person. I think it's just on the website. It just says log your time. So I wonder if you. I'm gonna I'm gonna open how long to beat. This is we're asking the hard questions here. Uh, oh, a Cuphead! Yeah, Cuphead 29th. Oh, okay. I, I so that, that should be fun. I have a feeling that game's gonna be really short. Well, it fucking better not be. They pushed it back like two years. I have a feeling that game's gonna be under five hours. I guarantee. Uh, you what do you want? Yeah. What do you want to bet? I'll bet you steak dinner. That is. The, give Give me your your honest guess. And I'll I'll bet you a steak. Well, are dinner we talking time. Zeke time? Or are we talking real time? Talking. I'm talking average person play time. Average person play time for Cuphead. Co co play time. Co play. What difficulty? Are there difficulties in? There's a lot of spe specifications here. We have to know. I don't know if there's difficulties in it. I guess we could Google that. Maybe we need more information. No, maybe you do. I want more information for sure. <laughs> Come I mean, on, stay, it's just it's a steak dinner. Come on, just make a guess right now. I will Honestly. say the average person will beat that game under ten hours. Under 10. I, I had to bump it because of difficulty. Five. I know. I had to bump it because I don't know if there's difficulty stuff. All right. Because the, the diff... The, I'm the, not going to make that bet. <laughs> the I'll time make, played make, might be because you're dying a shit ton to bosses. I'll make that bet at seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, deal. Let seven hours. Under seven. Under seven. Okay. It's, a, right. it's, it's a bet. It's a bet. Deal. Shake on it. Deal. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll shake on the drop frames. There you go. Okay, good job. Good job. Under seven. Here's the thing, though. I don't think we're going to be at any con. I'm not planning to go to any conventions this year, so I don't know when I'm going to, when whoever's going to pay out that steak dinner. Dude, you got to you go to TwitchCon. You got to go to TwitchCon. No, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not planning on going to TwitchCon. Why? TwitchCon? Don't be a dick. Go to TwitchCon. <laughs> I don't have plans. He doesn't care about his fans. Dick move. I don't have plans. Of, you know, that's where most of your fans are going to be able to You know, Ko's not going to TwitchCon either, right? He's got a kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going. What's your excuse? <laughs> My excuse is I'm just baby, not going. A less than year old baby. Maybe I have a kid, Zeke. Maybe little fucking JP's right there at steps, and I can't look him in his eye and tell him I gotta go away, Zeke. I think Aurelian would have told me if you had a kid <laughs> by now. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll see. I might stop in for a day. No, that's, listen, that's the plan. I'll, t- I'll tell you this. Okay. If you're if you're a streamer of any any salt, and I don't know, I don't know who's going, I don't know who's not. Okay. okay. I'll, this is I know the majority of people not going. Completely uh, unbiased and not pointed at pointing fingers because I don't know who's going. I haven't looked or I haven't asked. Sure. But if you're not going to TwitchCon and you can afford to, and you're a streamer, shame on you. <laughs> Go to TwitchCon. It's fun, man. I love it. I it's, love it. Yeah, Just even the hang out with other broadcasters, too, is amazing. It's fucking... Oh. When else are we going to get sloppy drunk together and throw up? Yeah. Well, and also, I mean, fun. I understand there's there's extenuating circumstances. Yeah. If there's if there's extenuating circumstances like I don't know you had a fucking heart surgery or something that's, can can you, know, you adopt a kid for like a weekend different. is that a thing do you guys know it's called babysitting I think okay maybe I'll, yeah <laughs> that's a baby I'll have to babysit someone I don't know yeah we I mean we've done a lot we did a live drop frames two years in a row we should do it again even You're, if it's not on any stage yeah I, I was like you realize those panels had to be submitted like I know, three months ago I'm just saying like <laughs> like a drop frames gathering where we just you know. Bullshit about video games for an hour at a bar or something. And it's just me and you, but, you know, I like hanging out with you. <laughs> Look at that stinky ass face. He's <laughs> <laughs> Traveling is so not fun, and, and I don't want to. Long, Long Beach. Eh. Long Beach is kind of shit. Eh. So, why did they have it there? It's You're inside a bar shit. anyway. Yeah, you're right. I, as long as the bar is Drinking nice. your Moscow meals. Yeah. Hey Moscow! I'm, all right, I'm I'm mm, I'm back in. Maybe yeah. I will go. Come get, some, <laughs> come get some mules, JP. Come on Maybe out. So. Get some mules. Plan is right now to not go to. Uh... Well, I mean, we'll get drunk. We'll go go swim in the ocean. Almost drown. You know, have a story to tell. It's great. All things that I'm not into right now. Yeah. Are there any games coming out around TwitchCon? Isn't there like a big game release around TwitchCon? There ain't shit. Is that the beginning of sep- October, September? When is TwitchCon? Uh, it's like uh, October twenty second, right? October twentieth. Game. Twentieth to the twenty second. October. Let's see what games are coming out in October. Uh, here we go. Gotta scroll down. September. Well, the October. fracture, but the fracture, but whole comes out three days before. Uh, Destiny Two. Super oh. Hyped about it. Destiny Two launches on the twenty fourth. That's the weekend after. Okay. Weekend after. See. Uh, South Park. They said it was seventeen. Uh. Before. Middle Earth is the tenth. Evil Within Two is the thirteenth. Battlefront Two Open Beta is the sixth. Uh, oh yeah. Forza Seven is the third. Super Mario Odyssey is the twenty seventh. Assassin's Creed Origins the twenty seventh. Wolfenstein's the twenty seventh. Fallout Four VR is October. These are all after after you get back. <laughs> wide open, man. It's wide open. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Just another streaming day. Plan is not going right now. The only way I'll go is if I, I might do another one of those big dinners and just fly in for a day. That's the only thing I'm thinking. So we'll see. We'll see. There is some good food out there. There's one okay, good place just, to go. Let me just food. ask you this. Okay. You can, give me a, you can give me a short answer. Okay, short what answer. What is preventing you from going? Don't want to travel. Don't want to go to a con that I've been going to for two years and any other con like it for the past five years because they're all the same to me. There's nothing to be gained. From I me can going. agree. I'm not going to PAX East. I didn't go this year. I yeah. feel great not traveling, but yeah. also it's different for me because I just drive an hour south and I'm at Long Beach. So. Yeah, that's quite different. <laughs> you, you can go for a day and then go home, sleep in your own bed. You still got to get it. You still got to get rooms and that. stuff. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm getting yeah. drunk. I can't drive. I guess that's true. Good point. Good on, good on you, man. Good, you can't get those tickets. Got to be a decent human being. Got to be a know? decent human being, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I understand you don't want to travel. I get that. Traveling's the worst, man. You get sick. You fucking send the tube in, up in the air. Maybe you. Maybe you oh, guess. yeah. Yeah, yeah especially. I got to worry about that with the baby and stuff, too, because, like, bringing that shit back. You're the reason why people get sick? Because you get on planes and have a kid? Shame on you. <laughs> I'm joking. I have like, like all star baby. That that baby everyone wants to hang out with. All, all I'm saying is JP, skip skip all the other ones and just go to TwitchCon. Don't go to any other ones. You go to the ones you that are pleasurable. Do you like BlizzCon or whatever? No, I'm but skipping don't BlizzCon for the working. first time in eight years. Or yeah, I'm just saying, years. don't go to any working ones. Just go to just go to TwitchCon because you know, I'm just think I just think this, this is the best place to meet people who enjoy what you do in person. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You'll have Gil- to keep. 
You have to keep guilt and shame in me into into going each other. I'm trying, man. I'm I'm digging my Catholic roots out. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing that just piling the guilt on you. Gotcha. All right. I just saw you were a better entertainer as all, you know. There you go. I saw you care. See, Jericho knows how to get you. me. You're you're I just like you, you gotta care. That's a good one. Zeke's like, I mean, you gotta cool. meet your fans and stuff. And I'm just like, okay. And then Jericho's like, I thought you were better entertainer. I'm like, fucking shit, he's kinda got of, <laughs> It's all right. I wouldn't want to build meaningful relationships with any of my friends either. You know, yeah. I'd let them all slip by the wayside and die alone too. JP, you're fine. Don't go. Again, you you were almost there, <laughs> and now you're just kind of like, yeah. And you I you guess are I... going, Tim Mac, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, okay. totally. I think I the majority of people are going. That I know. Tim's not going. I think he's announced that. Dan's not going. I think he's announced that. Lyrics not going. I think he's announced that. Co's not going. Um, so you're not even getting a benefit because all the big streamers are staying home. So you know you're gonna get swallowed up in views anyways. Well, I'm not yeah. staying home to stream for views. That that's the last thing I'm staying home for. Uh, I can't wait. He's, he's worried about the announcement where they give an no, extra say, prime we token. Mention, we can mention this. <laughs> we can mention this that they they said we will announce stuff, but we will not enact it until TwitchCon right. is done. Yeah. Right. Which, right. Man, you think someone would have thought of that last year? <laughs> Fucking Prime, dude, when they dropped yeah. Prime. Oh, God. That was really I just, funny. I looked at my phone of all the tweets and like people like, oh my God, this is I'm like, I wanted to fucking puke. <laughs> hey, this guy just got 30,000 subs. It's like, yeah. <laughs> someone, <laughs> thanks for that. I, I remember watching a clip of someone who was live when they announced that and it like went live on the site during their broadcast. And it was just like hundreds and thousands of subs over like a three or four hour period, which is like, how do you not, how do you launch something like that and just not think of the ramifications? They know. Now, they yeah. know. That's I just guess, not happening anymore. I guess you only fucked that up once. So whatever. Uh, we've True. stretched and filled our time. Good job, everyone. We're three minutes away yeah. from you. So let's do some shout outs. Call the show. Uh, Jericho, aka Better Co. Thanks for filling <clears> in this week. Do some shout outs. As always. Us. Uh, thanks for having me. Always a fun time. Uh, I'm gonna probably be streaming after I eat some food. So if you guys want to watch Battlegrounds, I literally only play Battlegrounds now. But um, thanks for having me on. Hopefully, uh, when Destiny comes out, I'll be doing some of that stuff. Um, help my dying channel. Subscribe. Use Twitch Prime free for every 30 days forever. Dot com. <laughs> the better thing to do, by the way, if you want to bait TwitchCon sub or Twi Twitch TwitchCon. Twitch Prime subs, just say, I don't understand this Twitch Prime thing. Can someone explain it to me? Like, just do that. It's best. Oh, no. I uh, I brought my dog on and said he dies if I don't get 3,000 subs. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, yeah. it. I mean, yeah. th that's another way that you could definitely do it as well. Timac, thanks for coming on the show. So, I also uh, do guilt trips. I, I hold baby up and say, <laughs> all your direct wow. support goes straight. <laughs> Jesus. This whole oh, kid thing. I, I mean, Sarah McLaughlin playing and everything. It's great. I need to, this whole guilting with a kid thing. Well, is that's good. the thing, though. Like, kids are a lot of work, but you can definitely squeeze a lot of, like, sympathy, excuses. Oh, yeah. yeah, I Total. know. They're good. Yeah. They're batteries for that shit. And I mean, if I'm streaming all day, I don't even have to take care of the kid. I get to say I'm streaming. So I just guilt them for the stream and toss them off to whoever's taking it. It's great. Tim, I just, yeah, so I like, spend with you as a way from my your, child. <laughs> come and take care of your kid. I've got to put food in its mouth, don't I? <laughs> Do some shout outs, uh, Tim Ack. All right. Yeah. Yo, follow my Twitch. It's uh, just Tim Ack, like it's on screen. Tim Ack underscore on Twitter. Uh, I do a lot of role playing. Right now, it's a lot of Grand Theft Auto. And uh, after this, I'll probably be playing Conan because they're giving me money. So uh, I'll be doing that and uh, probably finish that. Normally, today's my day off, but every other day, I'm pretty much going seven, eight hours. So uh, yeah, follow me over there. Check out the characters and. Uh, Enjoy the madness that's uh, role play. Cool stuff. Last but not least, Zeke. Thanks for too. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming on last minute, uh, for sure. Zeke, some shout outs. Yo, uh, want to give a big shout out to Tim Mac and uh, Tim Mac for showing up, being our guest, for Jericho for filling in. Uh, always fun to have you get you, you on the show, and Tim Mac was awesome to have you on your first time, which I was unaware of. Yeah, um, also, JP for hosting. Uh, I'm Ezekiel the Third. You can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. All uh, at Ezekiel underscore I I I. Uh, follow me on Twitch right now because uh, I am less than uh, I'm 700 and change away from 150k followers on Twitch, and I've been here for five years, so that's kind of disheartening. <laughs> but uh, I'll be broadcasting tomorrow at noon. I'll be finishing up Observer, and then uh, if that 
gets finished up in a decent amount of time, we'll figure out something else. Maybe we'll just get drunk and play Use Your Words. Uh, but I will be leaving, or I, also this Saturday, I will be on Jimmy JP channel, this one right here, playing some D and D. the something of time. What is it? Time Cleaver. Time Cleaver at 4 p.m. Eastern time, right here with a lot of other great people. Uh, and uh, then I will be leaving for Gamescom on Sunday the 20th. So if you want to look for me during Gamescom, I will be hosting with Twitch. Okay, I'm done. You excited for the Gamecom? I could not. I don't think you could pay me. Never to going back. It. Yeah. Never going back. No. We're talking about cons. That's probably the Never last place on earth I would ever Talk be like, I want to go to Gamescom. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like I'm not going. I, I don't look forward to it because of because of Gamescom. Yeah. Because you've seen one con, you've seen them all. Like this one's just huge is all. It's it's same thing. But it's it's in Germany. I get to see stuff and taste stuff and experience stuff that I don't get to here. And you've got to pay for the trip, right? That makes sense. Yeah. I understand that. I get that for sure. Uh, that's it. Should be back next week. We'll talk to Kobe about his EverQuest experience. He's apparently poop socking it for the next 72 hours. So He's uh, in the chat right now. Yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, Co, I'm, I'm curious because you were logged into Path of Exiles, so we're going to wait 20 <laughs> seconds for you to answer. Were the games not <laughs> live, or what, what happened? What went wrong? And Do you have to log out of Ex- Path of Exile? No, I'm just saying, if he's logged into Path of Exile, why would you, how would you also play EverQuest at the same time? Well, I'd imagine with, when there's EverQuest downtime that he just played a little bit of Path of Exile. Maybe so. Because there's a lot of waiting in those game, in that game, at least. Maybe so. I'm I'm just curious. I, I need minute by minute uh, dadcation information. That <laughs> rhymed, by the way. That wasn't on purpose. Uh, it looks like he's gone though. He dropped his resub and peaced out. He's got to go kill shit now. Request. So, we'll get gotcha. the information next week. From Co, he should be back. Uh, cool. And we will be as well. More drop frames next week. Uh, oh, I'm going to try and make it to drop frames next week. I'm going to be in Germany, but. Mm. It's uh, drop frame starts. I found out it starts at 11 p.m. in Germany. Yep. So I might be able to do it depending on if there's anything happening that night. Weren't you drunk will, last time? <laughs> I, I may have been. I think, we are, yeah, I was drunk from the hotel. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I might do that again. All right. Well, let me know. We'll figure it okay. out and, and book a guest accordingly. Uh, that's it. We're out. Bye bye. See you next time. Sweet. Thanks again, Tim. Peace.